Hello everyone. Good afternoon. My name is Saurabh and I am the founder of Event Beep. Um, five years ago, I was just sitting uh, on uh, where you are sitting right now. Uh, I listened to talks. I listened to TED talks, just like all of you guys are. And that was the day that I thought, "Ki yar, agar ye banda kar sakta hai, to main bhi kar sakta ho." And here I am today, uh, delivering a TED talk which five years ago I was listening to. If I can do it, you can also do it. Um, so now I think talking about uh, in the last five six years, being a student entrepreneur, starting from college, um, I've learned a lot of lessons. I've learned a lot of lessons which college did not teach me. Um, so here I'll just present in terms of my experience. How did I start? Um, what have been my experiences? And all of you can learn to sort of excel in your journey. Um, I started pretty early on, uh, 26 years ago, uh, as I was a kid. My entire early life was very average, you know. Average. I was an introvert, you know. I couple of cases when I was in my school, uh, I just hit puberty. I was uh, rewarded for an arts and craft award, and. Um, I started sounding like a girl. Uh, they invited me on stage. I was very nervous, and this is how I sang. Thank you for the award, <laughs> and the entire school laughed. Since then, all my fear of going on stage. Another incident was when I was uh, I told myself that no, I don't want this stage fear. I want to do something, and I was in tenth grade. um there was a debate competition and it was on the top floor i never went to the top floor of my school and uh, i was very nervous i was about to uh, be called on the stage uh, i was so scared i rushed to the washroom all sweating uh, suddenly from the corridor a woman uh, who was a teacher who was on the panel came out of the washroom and she said What are you doing here? I said I'm really nervous. She said, "Yeah, I can figure because you're in the ladies' washroom." <laughs> and, and the washroom was opposite on the top floor. So that that's how nervous I was. So I started as a really introvert kid, a uh, very average student and uh, but in 10th grade I got hold of business audio books. I started hearing and those things changed my life. um it was very simple i think those audio books what they taught me was very simple um if anybody can has done something you can also do it nobody is better than you no one is smarter than you if bill gates has reached a certain stage if you work as hard as he did you will reach there too if you want to be like ambani just do what he did you will reach there i i thought it's that simple why not i'll be someone that you know i really want to and that sh- that just small insight changed my life and since then you know i've been awarded by the government of maharashtra the education ministry delivered ted talks we got featured on shark tank i built a business uh, throughout my college journey um also been a part of the entire uh, government panel for education so that that sort of changed my life you know and it was very simple i think fast forward to my college journey i started pretty early when i was in first year second year of my college started with a startup built it for the last uh, i built three startups overall and learned a lot of lessons i think through the four lessons that i'll help you today in understanding what i didn't learn in college but you can learn very early on to sort of succeed in your uh, college journey and life uh, the first one was take risk Uh, that's the biggest thing that i learned because you are in college that is the best place to take risk right now what is going to happen the moment you drop out of college parents will ask ghar pe paisa bhej send money home from your salary take care of parents soon you'll take up a job you'll get married bachche honge they'll they'll need education you'll need to buy house car you'll be fixed in a rat race and it's very difficult to take risks then um, obviously you would but then college is the best time where no one is going to ask you for money or pressures all they ask you to is study and i think uh, this is the best time that uh, you can take risk i started so i did both things you know i did my diploma in engineering 
and I studied the hardest of my life. You know, I was a very average student. I thought I will become a topper. I was 50, 60th student uh, in the class, but I said that I'm going to work hard. I am going to be the topper, which was a very big ask. Uh, but then I did. I became the second topper of my college and that was a huge success. I studied so hard and then towards the end I was like, all of this is useless. I am never going to study. I got into engineering again, uh, mechanical engineering and from since then I thought I am not going to study now. Um, so my engineering attendance was uh, 45%, 0.45%. <laughs> uh, so, so that, that's, you know, since then um, I managed my exams somehow. Uh, I studied hard as engineers. When do we study? One week before the exams or one day before the exam. So that, that's when I studied hard. But then mostly I think took a lot of risk. I built three companies in my college. Um, so that, that's something which uh, changed my life. Uh, the second is learning to sell. A lot of you must think yaar, sales is something very boring, sales is bad, we will not do sales jobs, internship, but you need to know if you don't know how to sell, your life is going to be really difficult. Um, throughout my startups, first we started selling tickets of events, movies, uh, different theatres, going to malls, I pitched people to actually buy tickets from us, uh, went door to door to colleges, directors, got thrown out learned so much is what makes us or me today what I am. So selling at an early stage, especially you take up sales internships, start selling something is very essential because be it your interviews, you don't want to do a career in sales, but that's one of the things that is going to make your future bright. Um, so selling is something that you need to learn right now in college before you even graduate. Um, the third thing that uh, I learned was setting goals. How many of you have wishes or dreams in life? A big car, big house, mostly everyone. Okay, great. How many of you have written them down in a notebook? Very few. So what you need to understand is what all of you have is mere wishes and aspirations, which everyone has right from a laborer to a villager. Everyone has ki yaar, bada bangla, I'll, I'll have a big car, I'll have houses, I'll be rich someday, which everybody has. It's not just you, everyone has. These are just wishes. These are not goals. Those become goals when you write them down on paper. Those become goals when you concretely put them down and impart them into your brain. So uh, the first thing, you know, that I learned was setting goals. So at a... I started writing down goals. Um, I don't have a breakfast, but I'll write down goals the first thing at, that I wake up in the morning. So that's something which helped me a lot. Uh, what I would suggest all of you doing is, if you don't take anything from my talk, just do one this activity, which is the moment you go back home, write down your goals on a piece of paper. 20 goals that you want to achieve in life. Uh, five years, 10 years down the line. Um, I had written down this goal that I would be, let's say, speaking at an event with more than 500 audience about four years back. Last year, I so I came across that piece of paper. I had written about 20 goals in it. And magically, all of them had come true. Um, I don't know how, I didn't see them. But the moment I saw them, all of them had come true, in fact, in some or the other way. So those do come true i think that's one of the things that you should uh, do which is writing down goals rather than just visualizing so that's one and the fourth one is create not consume so that's something which i strongly believe i think um, once i got hold of those audiobooks my thought process changed entirely i thought that i'll not be on the consumer side wherein people want me to use things so if you are using apps like Instagram, Facebook, you are called a user. Uh, you know what a user is? When mafias of drug warlords used to coin this term called user because people got addicted to those things and that's what they called them, users. All of you are users right now. You are using something which someone else has created and made for you. 
what you need to start having a mindset is of a creator you want to be someone who creates job right now you have a mindset ki i want to get a job i want to get something the thought process you know you look at a car wow what a car instead it has to be ki it's going to be my car you look at a girl wow what a girl you have to be like ki this girl has to come to me so the entire thought process change you know right from uh, you know creating building uh, not consuming but creating something you watch a movie be like i am going to create a movie like this so your thought process has to change right now which is more and especially today you know uh, that's what exactly i thought at that time someone is giving a ted talk great appreciated but i am going to be at that place in some future down the line and here i am so that's that's what exactly you need to do is create not consume and that has entirely changed my life um what i sort of suggest all of you is start building start creating have a thought process that you want to be employer start innovating don't do what everyone else is doing right now you can be whatever you want and however you want so yeah that's it i think thank you for listening to me